But yeah, I think it's it's very difficult if, if uh, for anyone to see that photograph and and not feel they have to do something that there's something must be done, something must change. Europe cannot stand anymore and uh, not doing enough to help refugees in this very serious refugee crisis uh, that um, many people have been warning about for years that the UN refugee agency um, Amnesty International many others have been saying that this is going to get worse and has been getting worse for the past two or three years and you know the the, the depth of this little boy is is, is unfortunately not unique because uh, you know more than 2,500 people have tried re trying to reach Europe um, this year there's millions of refugees, literally millions of refugees living in extremely difficult circumstances across the Middle East, across Africa and, and, and in Asia and elsewhere. And unless the world uh, really gets together to, to solve this problem and uh, tries to do something about it that's very serious, we're going to see a lot more misery. So for Europe, we, you know, we would like to see Europe um, opening its, its, uh, you know, its doors to refugees, resettling a lot more refugees than it is doing now. Um, that there should be um, safe routes for people to get there. Refugee families should be able to reunite without uh, family members having to go to very dangerous journeys by sea or by land uh, to, to meet their loved ones. Uh, there's a lot more that needs to be done and it needs to be done very quickly. I think it's, it's, it's a matter, first of all, of just of uh, you know, pure human compassion. I mean, we have to think about the people being affected by this you know these are not abstract numbers yes we talk about millions of refugees but at the end of the day it's, it's like that little boy on the beach yesterday um it, there are girls there are boys uh women and men who who are being affected by this by this war whose lives have been destroyed by four years of war in syria by persecution in eritrea by the conflicts in afghanistan and elsewhere and they need and deserve to be able to restart their lives, to, to have a chance at a better future. Uh, all of us want that. Everyone in any country in Europe wants that for themselves and their families. And we should think about how we can help these people and how we can help them rebuild their lives.